He's an asshole. I just want to meet my boy. Oh yeah, let's have a look at Malekith. It's highly resistant to running, very weak to actually resistant to, um, like, Scarlet Rod. Um... Malekith has such a cool phase, too. Malekith is one of those fights where it's just like, I like Malekith. The problem with Malekith is he will kill you faster than the other boss. The cool thing about Malekith is he, he, he is just a badass. He, he's just a badass. He's so cool. He's definitely one of the coolest bosses in the game. And he has a really cool like item to use against him too, which I would like to use this playthrough. He's always cool too. Yeah. He's just one of the like best, better designed bosses in the game. Honestly, they went pretty good with Law in this game. Law in this game is pretty good. Bro literally contains the rule of death inside in his body. <laughs> it's just so hardcore. <laughs> He's so edgy that even that he owns death. And when you meet him, he's like fully consumed by um like the beast clergyman, right? He's just a beast clergyman when you first fight him. Because if I recall, you're warned of like those who walk in death, like get consumed by it normally. Like I know with the beast guy, he literally um becomes like he will aggro you once you give him enough death root. Wait, that is him? He's the one you feed the death root to? I had no idea. But you can kill him and get the, um... You can kill that guy and get the, um... And get a somber Swifting Stone off him. A, um, like, Ancient Dragon one. If you kill him, is Malekith still here? I guess it makes a lot of sense. That area in general looks like this area a bit. Yeah. <gasps> there he is! The boy. Best bro. I'd fuck him. Ah, I see you finally made it here yourself. Yeah, I hate it. I hate this. But I also love it at the same time. What an incredible place we find ourselves. But that aside, I can't believe you felled that giant. It was practically a god. I doubt there's another soul out there who could have done the same. Of course, I count myself the great Alexander among the many. Which means yeah. I have one thing to ask of you. Would you kindly undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. Like, here's the thing about him. He's such a bro. And you love him so much. And to f and in the end, he challenges you to prove to try to, to prove to himself that he's like to prove to himself. And Yeah.
Holy shit. Hmm, this is unfortunate. Okay, Alexander. Yeah. The DLC better the DLC better have some, something about him. Like how the like how the ashes made on Patch is like one of the best characters in the entire series. I think a lot of people would actually like I just love him. <laughs> I love you, Alexander. And because of you, Alexander, I'm going to go beat up a freaking dragon god. Dragon. Dragon? Yeah, dragon. Dragon Lord. Pisidiax. After that fight is when I made Source Goblin. Yeah. I want to, um. I would 100% want to make a Alexander cosplay. Hello, Prog. We just, we, we, we just went through the, sat, like, the saddest thing in Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Like, you know how people say Rani is best girl? Like, here's the thing. The best NPC is not Rani. The best NPC is him. By a lot. And then, like, Bl him. Then Blyde. I think Blyde is also amazing too. But Blyde is like a um, kink. Status is the end of front. Yeah, yeah. Um, once you've done the quest line and then Blyde's just there losing himself, you have to put him down. It is it is pretty sad actually. Oh man, I'm gonna get all emotional. Oh. Yeah. I love Rani. I love Blyde. I love Alexander. It's not a sad death, it's de like, I don't want to kill Alexander, but Alexander is like, the perfect death for that character. Like, he his questline is just good. Like, it, every, like, it's, every, like, it's kind of perfect for him. Maybe. I don't, I don't really know of him. I know he's like, he, he, he's family. I think that one of the saddest things is when you, um, like, when, when Rani's a doll. And you kill the shadow chasing you. Rani says, "Tell Blyde and what's his face, I love him." Them. 
problem is her entire quest line, it turns one into a lifeless doll and breaks blood. Okay, it's against the order. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure the two fingers tried to kill him, kill her, and then. Because the two fingers don't like it when they don't like it when they when they like toys which, like go against them. I don't actually know much about the Elden Ring lore besides like through gameplay and like things said through the game. I need to look at lore videos again. The problem is a lot of Elden Ring, lore, a lot of like lore in the Souls games are very similar. Oh, we have to kill the Lich Dragon. Dragon is what we have to go to. Meaning we have to fight the gargoyles. Another really bad. Like, I'll say this fight is. Not, not everything can do a lot. And everyone to suffer a two difference. Yeah, I know the Frenzied Flame isn't like. um The Frenzied Flame is, probably, is definitely the most evil way. I think the best ending is technically running, right? Running is the best ending. Though I'm pretty sure when Rani's ending, you become an Eldritch being. That's what I was told, in a way. We can fight Pesigiax right now. Yeah, Rani's of fears. Oh no! No, I think the best ending is the Golden Order ending. If you go through, um, like, the priest dude. I don't think Fears would technically be one of the best things. True, introducing death back into the world is a good thing. Godmaster is, is finding a way to perfect the order. Yeah. Like, I don't think Goldmask ending is bad. I just think Goldmask is, um... Because it's about, like, more getting the gods to actually be like gods. And then you have, like, Stinky Boy ending. Um... Yeah. Stinky Boy ending. I don't, I'm pretty sure that might be the second worst ending after, um, after Chaos Ending. But I think Chaos Ending has a, has an achievement, which I want to do. Where everyone is cursed but to be an Omen. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely like this. Maybe it's actually the worst ending. Maybe Chaos Flame isn't actually the worst ending. Same is is everyone into one? The curse is just agony into farming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the curse ending is the worst one by a lot. Dung Eater is just a plague.
He's an omen in a human's body. Huh. That would make sense. Also, the underground area is the worst. <laughs> that area is actually very unique. But that area is a nightmare to, like, traverse. Like, even if you know where you're going, the freaking holes in the pipe suck. But there's so much, like, good stuff down there, it's just, like... Dun dun... I'm pretty sure this weapon is going to obliterate him now. Oh, this is probably one of the best design bosses in the game. Probably is the best design boss. boss. Also, uh, I realized something, uh, this is really bad against him, apparently. So let's just go find my... My favorite thing about this fight, he actually takes a lot of my favorite things from, like, some of them, probably my favorite dragon fight of all time, which is the deer. The deer is great. I don't know. My, f I think my favorite thing about him recently is that. If Radagon was Marika the whole time, was Marika tank was he technically fucking um Was he was, was he sneaking out as Marika just to fuck um Renata? He's probably going to do his laser attack now, right? Nope. No, 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 no. Oh no. <sighs> She's so fucking mobile.
I can't get close to him. Come on, I'm up to the last part. Let me, let me f fuck you up. I'm stuck. I can't see shit. Protecting the tail. Oh no. I did not roll. Try something different. Mm-hmm. 